Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So this is our new course Angular Unit Testing. So this is our brand new course related uh, regarding this unit testing. Why? Because up to now we haven't con uh, we haven't did anything unit related to unit testing on any framework like uh, Angular, React, or Vue. So this is our first unit testing on the Angular framework. So now what is this Angular unit testing? Before learning about this angular unit testing i have already did the course about this jasmine unit testing framework so why i have did this one jasmine unit testing is jasmine testing framework is so for doing this unit testing in any of the frameworks we need one testing framework so like just like how we will be using to implement application for javascript framework so like that also for implementing the unit testing we need a testing framework so that is nothing but jasmine is one of the testing framework which angular uses that one heavily whereas in react just is the testing framework which react uses heavily so that is the thing so for the, because of this before approaching this angular unit testing we have learned we have completed this jasmine unit testing so if you want to know about the basics of this unit testing and the testing framework how it will involve involved means so you it's better to have a look at this jasmine testing course why because in angular i will not cover those all the spying or spying mocking and all those things i will not cover so about the describe you test suits test cases and all those things i will not cover about all those things i have already covered those all things in the jasmine testing course because of that reason so we can directly proceed through the angular how we can test the components how we can test the C services and all those things we can see in this angular unit testing course now let's try to learn what is an angular unit testing so this is our first video so let's see in this course we will learn primarily how to write the unit test in the angular so this is the main agenda or goal of this course so you learn primarily how to write the unit test in angular we should not only learn how to write the unit test but you should also know why and when we need to write the unit test this is the primary thing what we what i will be discussing about this from right day one onwards so when you are writing the unit test you, you should not only know about how to write the unit test you should also know about why i am writing this unit test and when i need to write the unit test of writing this code so before proceeding so we need to know these two things also in other words i can say that we need to write the good unit test so because if you know that why and when and all those things then you will be able to write the good unit test so this is the main primary goal of that one the goal of the automated test so normally so that is the thing so when you are writing the unit test and all those things you need to know how to write not only how to write you need to know why and when i when i need to write the unit test so then these those unit tests will become the good unit test so this is the primary agenda the next one is the goal of the automated testing so why i am telling the goal of the automated testing is the unit tests are nothing but automated testing only so the goal of the automated testing is to increase the quality of the software so whenever you are developing an application or anything the quality of that application matters more so in order to increase the quality or the performance of that application or the software we need to do the automated test something like unit testing and all those things so this is the main goal of this unit test now let's come to this angular so now angular has two types of unit tests okay so if you come if you come to know so normally the unit tests are divided the tests the test tests are divided into unit tests integration tests and e to e tests we normally we have learned but in angular we will be having two types of unit tests so one is the isolated unit test so there is nothing but uh, what we will be learning about this one and another one is integration unit test so these are the two types of unit tests that angular mainly is involved so normally we can tell it as unit test only but we have divided this one into isolated and integration so we will learn more about this isolated and integration when we can say this one as isolated and when we can say this one as integration so normally what i can say is isolated unit tests are when you are trying to check single functionality so the functionality of a single piece single unit of code if you are trying to check test the functionality of that one we can say that one is an isolated that means it, the function or thing is isolated from the all of the things that means it is not dependent on any of the function or any of the method or anything it does not depend on anything it's an isolated so for example let's say add add 1 comma 2 it's a function so add if you send 1 comma 2 to that parameter as a parameters it will give you 1 plus 2 and it will give you 3 answer so that means it is isolated so it does not depend on any of methods so that is an isolated if you want to test those type of methods means it is an isolated unit test whereas this integration unit test means so we need to test two 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 pieces at a time for example let's say that in angular a component a component is a combination of template and the ts logic and a style sheet 
Now, if you want to test the component mean, you need to test the TS file, that means the logic file, as well as with the template. So, these two are integrated together. So, now if you want to write the unit test for this one means, so combining these two means, component means, then it will become an integration test. Okay. So, got child components and all those things also comes under integration test. So, but it, that one comes under the deep integration test. But here, this one is an integration test. Normally, all these things combinedly we can say it as integration test. So, when you are trying to check the single functionality, function, single function testing means, you can say it as an isolated. When you are trying to check integration testing, integration testing means the component together with the template means, then we can say it as integration testing. So, these are the two types of unit tests. We need to know difference between these two types of tests and how and when to write each kind of test. We have we have already learned about this one, right? We need to know the difference between these two kinds of tests. Before going to the unit test, so this is the main thing. Before going to the unit test, you should have basic understanding of this angular. So this is all about this angular and all those things. Okay. So this is this is all about the uh, about this angular uh, unit test and all those things. So we have two types of unit tests. That is uh, isolated and integration. So we'll learn more about this one coming on coming on videos. Before proceeding, before proceeding to this course or playlist, first, what is the things you need to have is prerequisites, prerequisites, something like that. You should have basic understanding of Angular. So this is the main thing. So if you know the Angular only, you can understand this unit test. And also you should know you should have basic understanding of the web also. How the web works and all those things also. You should have a basic understanding. So these are the two things you need to know. So if you are good at those two things means we can set ready to go and also another thing what i can say is jasmine also you need to have understanding good understanding not good understanding basic understanding on the jasmine testing framework how the jasmine testing framework works and what are the technologies that are involved in this jasmine testing framework also it is very important to learn why because in angular course we are not covering but if you have no well knowledge with other frameworks something like other than jasmine something like jest or mocha or something like that it's not a problem so just i'm telling you but angular uses the jasmine testing framework and also the karma test runner so these are this is the thing you need to keep in mind now how to install this unit test in our angular application so this is the question you will be raising so there is no need to install unit test and all those things in our angular application the angular cli downloads and installs everything you need to test an angular application with the jasmine testing framework so this is the thing i am telling you so the angular cli when you are installing the application or when we are creating an application with ngu or something like that the angular cli that this does all the things for that one set ready and go for the uh, for doing this unit testing so it will install all the softwares karma jasmine testing frameworks and all those things it will install it for you and you can just ready to write the test cases so how can we run these test cases for example so the project you created with cli is immediately ready to test you can test it and you can run the command ng test cli command so this is the ng test whenever you write this ng test command so you the test cases will be executed if you have created the project with the cli means so this command will be available to you you can run this command in the command line and the test cases will be running automatically so this is all about this angular unit testing introduction so from the next video onwards let's try to create an application and let's try to write the angular unit testing how to test the components and how to test the services pipes and all those things we will try to learn one by one hope you understood about this introduction to angular unit testing if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video i will try to give the reply and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you